you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Gonna bring a semi-easy intermediate song to play. Uh, great chord movements in this song. There's a lot of really cool uh, little things going on. So I think you're gonna enjoy it. You can also use these techniques, um, you know, just to improvise and come up with your own ideas because these chords, you know, sound good together. So you can do something creative with it. Uh, let you guys know real quick, I have a chord and scale book that I give out. You can click the link below this box. Some other cool stuff. And I always appreciate that. Uh, anyway, let's get to the lesson. All right, there's a few different sections. We're gonna just start with the, uh, the main section. And we need a C chord, which is in that chord and scale book. And then we need an E minor chord. Okay, so check it out. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so it does that. And you can just do all down strums, but the basic rhythm, you know, it's like a basic acoustic uh, rhythm. minor and you can just take your ring finger off it'll actually be easier to move your pinky over um, this is called a minor seven and we're gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so check it out you just need to get your hit that bass note and then the rest of that A minor chord or A minor 7. To a D chord, but with the D chord, if you can get your thumb wrapped around, that'd be just called D slash F sharp. That note's an F sharp. So that whole verse sequence, C, 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 E minor, A minor, 7. So that's that first section. All right, the next kind of, you know, it builds, and we're going to start it with the C chord. Same rhythm. But... But instead of E minor, it's called E7. So you take what's called an E major chord, which has the index finger on the first fret of the G string right there. You can just play a straight up E major, but if you take your ring finger off, it's called E7. So you got C, 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 C to E7. Da, 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 da. And so we need an F chord. And I recommend playing the F as the bar chord here because right after it, we need to take our middle finger off and I actually press it against here for more strength. And that's called F minor. So it's kind of a Beatles, British invasion kind of move. Like that. Okay, so watch. So we got C to E7. And then we go to F. Check this out, F minor, C, F. F minor, C, G notes. So that's a really interesting little chord movement right there, I think. So you got F minor, C, and you can get the low E note in that C chord. Because it, we're gonna, it's like a walk down. Okay. F minor C F. Okay. 
those are the first two sections. It's going to go back to the C to the E7 section again, okay? And, you know, the F minor, C to F, F minor, C to F, and then you need that majestic... And so what we're going to do, there's a few different ways it's, to play that. It's an F major 7 chord. The easiest way is going to just take this F chord and just make sure that high E rings out. It gives you that shimmer. Now you could put your ring finger there and pinky under here. Which will be a little trickier, but it's, you know, it's fuller. So you got... play E minor but with our ring finger off if you want it's just it's a more you know moodier sounding E minor chord E minor 7 and it's good for that section so you got B flat major 7 Some of you may have seen this chord in uh, Under the Bridge, up here, but it's one, three, two, three, barred. So you got da, 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 A minor, and there's G, 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 F. Check it out. From the F minor right before it. Flat major seven, A minor, G G G G F. Okay, next section, and I, there's really just two more sections, and then everything else is everything's covered, you know, except for the arrangement. But uh, the real fun, just kind of instrumental part, we got C, F and G, and you can play F bar, you can play F this way, you can play F that way. So we got a C, F, G, a A, A. Let's watch. So it's like down, down, up. saxophone or sexy phone uh, goes into that F major 7 to E minor 7 and A 2, 3, 4 C 2, 3, 4 D For four. Okay, so after that kind of little instrumental section, it goes right back to the C to the E7 to the F. Then that F minor section. We're going to do F minor one more time. Here's a new part that's kind of near the end of the song. It's not difficult, but it's a G to E7. So it's like a ground control to E7, A minor, with that pinky D. C, and you can put your ring finger there if you want. Bowie usually played C with the ring finger pinky like that. Either way is fine. 
C for four, then G for four. Right into the um, floating in the tin can part again, where tell my wife I love her. Here we go to G. Major seven to A minor. There's G G G G F. All right, thanks a lot, you guys, for watching the lesson. Uh, remember, I have uh, some free lessons, chord and scale book, by clicking the link below this box. I also want to thank uh, guitars for vets for sending me the shirt and for, um, you know, a great cause. Uh, we'll see you guys real soon.